Welcome. In this video, we're going to take a look at the cards inside the Defenders of Gondor starter deck for the Lord of the Rings, the card game. So down at the table, the Defenders of Gondor, taking a look on the back. 82 card starter deck for Lord of the Rings card game contains a ready to play starter deck featuring the people of Gondor, born defenders. They are at their strongest when the threat of the enemy is high. The Gondorian heroes, Boromir, Mablong, and Prince Imrahil. Additional Gondor themed cards that can be used to augment and customize any deck. So let's go ahead and take a look inside. If I can get my fingernails in between all of this. So we've got our two stacks of cards. And inside this art, I think is going to be a little manual for this set. So this is explaining that we've got our 53 card deck and somewhere in there, there's going to be a hold card letting us know those are the additional cards. So looking through here real quick, just going over the key way to play that it's best at 40 threat or higher. Some different cards you can use for their combinations. Going over our visionary leadership. And then, of course, the contents of the cards for the starter deck. So we've got our two stacks of cards. We'll go through here till we find our halt. We'll take a look at those after we go through the core 53. So our heroes, we've got Boromir with the stats and the threat we'll be starting with. Well, he is at least, has at least one resource in his resource pool. Allies, Gondor allies, get plus one to their strength or attack. Then our prince with his stats. The character leads play, ready him. Nice. And then Mabling. After you engage an enemy, add a resource to his resource pool. Then we have two. Angbor the Fearless. Or your threat is 40 or higher. He gets plus two attack and does not exhaust a quest. That's pretty nice. And then three soldiers of Gondor. After Soldier of Gondor enters play, search the five, top five cards of your deck for a Gondor ally. Add it to your hand. Any number of Gondor allies instead if your threat is 40 or higher. Then we have two Citadel Custodians. Lower the cost to play by one for each Gondor ally in play. Then three Defender of Ramas. Just a warrior with a pretty nice defense in there. Then two ship captains. After your enters play, move a resource from the resource pool of a hero you control to another hero's resource pool. And then two riders. Exhaust to move a resource from the resource pool of a hero you control to another one. So since we have two different factions that'll help move things back and forth as needed if we need more on this side. Then two Faramirs. So also choose a player, each character controlled by that player gets plus one willpower until the end of the phase. Then two of Gandalf, at the end of the round, discarding him from play. If he enters play, we could either draw three cards, deal four damage to an enemy, or reduce our threat by five. Then two Spearmen, Sentinel, after he is declared as a defender, deal damage to the attacking enemy. Then two, three Envoys. After enters play, add a resource to a Gondor or Noble Hero's resource pool. Squire of the Citadel, we have three of those. After he leaves play, add a resource to a Gondor Hero's resource pool. Then we have a Captain of Gondor. Attached to a Warrior Hero after you optionally engage an enemy. Exhaust this to give Attached Hero plus one attack and defense till the end of the round. Then two Shields. Limit one per hero. Attached hero gets plus one defense, plus two if it's a Gondor trait. Of course, all of our heroes have the Gondor trait. We've got the Air Mardiel. If your attached hero gains any number of resources from a card effect, exhaust it to ready attached hero. Then two Stewards of Gondor. Exhaust it to add two resources to attached hero's resource pool. We've got two, three Valiant Swords. Attached to a hero to get plus one attack, plus two if our threat is 40 or higher. Visionary leadership, three of those. Attached to a Gondor hero. Well, attached hero has at least one resource in its resource pool, gets plus one to its willpower. Then we have two behind the walls. Ready defending Gondor character. The character gets plus one defense until the end of the phase. 
Then two feints. Choose an enemy engaged with a player. That enemy cannot attack that player this phase. Then we have two knee drives them. Each player whose threat is 40 or higher readies all characters they control. Then we have two pillars of the kings. While your threat is less than 40, reduce the cost to play pillars of the kings by four. It's an action, set your threat to 40. If this effect raise your threat, draw a card. Draw four cards instead if it raises your threat by 10 or more. Then we have two Valiant Sacrifices. After an ally card leaves play, that card's controller draws two cards. And two Foe Hammers. After a hero you control attacks and destroys an enemy, exhaust a weapon card attached to that hero to draw three cards. So that is it for our base 50 card deck and our three heroes. And of course, this is going to probably give us all of our, enough to give us our three of each. So we've got Barragond here, Sentinel, lower the cost to play a weapon and armor attachment on him by two. So we've got some additional heroes we can add in this set. Faramir, range, you get to plus one attack for each enemy in the staging area. Then we've got our main cards, three Emin Arnon Rangers. After he commits to the quest, choose an enemy with a trap attachment till the end of the phase. Amen gets plus X willpower, where X is the chosen enemy's printed threat. Then Ranger Spikes, three of those. Play them into the staging area unattached. If unattached, yeah, attach Ranger Spikes to the next eligible any enemy that enters the staging area. Players do not make engagement checks against attached enemy. Attached enemy gets minus two threat. Then we have three pits here. Get to put into the staging area. If unattached, attach it to the next eligible enemy that enters the staging area. Any character may choose attached enemy as a target of an attack. Then we have three Coney in a trap. Play only if you control a unique character with the ranger trait and another unique character with the warrior trait. Response after you engage an enemy, that enemy cannot attack you until the end of the round. Then a Helm of Secrecy, a limit of one per deck. Choose a hero you control and discard all tokens from it. Select a different non-hero of those types from your collection with a threat cost less than or equal to the chosen hero. Swap those heroes, moving all eligible items and damage tokens to the hero from your collection. Then the Path of Need, one per deck. Heroes do not exhaust to attack, defend, or commit to a quest while attached location is in the active location. Then we're finishing up with the Fearless, the Custodian, Captain, Rider, or Captains, Shields, Heirs, Behind the Strong Walls, Need Drives Them, Pillars, and the Foe Hammer. So that is everything in the starter deck for the Defenders of Gondor for the Lord of the Rings card game. As always, hope you enjoyed this unboxing. So please click on the like button below and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.